Discover Cosmos, an internet of blockchains, or as we love to put it, the Avengers of the blockchain universe. In this video, we are going to give you a comprehensive guide into the Cosmos ecosystem. Make sure to stick to the end of the video to find out interesting projects already existing in the Cosmos ecosystem. If you like to stay up to date on all things crypto, make sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification. Also, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for all the latest crypto updates. Let's begin. What is Cosmos anyway? Cosmos aims to create a network of blockchains able to communicate with each other in a decentralized way. In simple terms, Cosmos aims to break barriers that exist between blockchains by allowing them to transact with each other. But before we go in depth in how it aims to do this, let's go a little back in history and see how Cosmos fits in the broader blockchain ecosystem. The evolution of blockchain. Cosmos is a product of evolving blockchain technology. That's why we will take a quick look at how far blockchain technology has come to what we know it today. Blockchain 1.0 the grandfather. This is where it all started. 14 years ago, Bitcoin came to being as the first application of blockchain technology. In his white paper, Satoshi Nakamoto, whose identity is yet to be known, detailed an electronic economic peer-to-peer -peer system. That is Bitcoin and its underlying technology, the blockchain. It was not long till people realized the potential of decentralized applications and naturally the desire to build new ones emerged. However, this first generation of blockchain had some major setbacks. It's time consuming due to its proof of work consensus mechanism. Since proof of work involves solving complex mathematical puzzles, a large amount of energy is also consumed in the process. Another major setback of blockchain 1.0 is the inability to support smart contracts, which means no dApps. These setbacks were enough to think of new solutions, and that is where Ethereum came in to save the day. Blockchain 2.0, the Ethereum story. The setback posed by the first generation of blockchain prompted Buterin, Ethereum's founder, to extend the concept of blockchain beyond a cryptocurrency. This brought the concept of smart contacts to life. These anonymous, self-managing computer programs expanded Ethereum's functionalities from just being a cryptocurrency to also being a platform for developing decentralized applications as well. However, this approach still had limitations that persist to this very day. Low scalability, just like blockchain 1.0, Ethereum's uses of proof of work consensus mechanism, which enables only 15 transactions per second. This is nowhere at par with its demand requirements, leading to network congestion and high transaction fees. Unsustainable power consumption, making transactions uses a tremendous amount of computational power. Sovereignty, applications built on Ethereum, are limited in some ways in terms of sovereignty. How so? Since they all share the same underlying environment, two layers of governance are created, the application's governance and the underlying environment's governance. The latter limits the former. Say there's a bug on a dApp. Approval must be sought in Ethereum's governance first before any action can be taken. These limitations mean that something has to be done. Well, that is where Cosmos comes in. Cosmos Blockchain 3.0 the future. As we have mentioned, Cosmos has an end goal of creating an internet of blockchains where these blockchains process transactions quickly, maintain sovereignty, and most importantly, be able to communicate with each other. This end goal can be achieved through the use of open source tools like Tendermint, the Cosmos SDK, and IBC. Don't worry, we will break down these tools shortly. But at their core, they are designed to let people build custom, secure, scalable, and interoperable blockchain applications quickly. Let's go in depth into what these tools are all about. Tendermint BFT, the simplifier. Building a blockchain requires creating three layers, networking, consensus, and application. Until recently, all three layers had to be built from the ground up. This is where Tendermint comes in handy. Tendermint is a solution that packages the consensus and networking layers of a blockchain and a generic engine, leaving developers with one primary focus, application development. This gives them a head start. So we have two layers on Tendermint's engine end and a programming language on the programmer's end. We still need to connect the two. That is where the application blockchain interface or ABCI comes in. ABCI is a socket protocol that connects the two 
and can be wrapped in any programming language, giving developers more flexibility in picking a programming language that fits their needs. However, the ABCI still has to be developed, which is not an easy task. This is where the SDK comes into play. Cosmos SDK is a generalized framework that allows developers to easily spin up application-specific blockchains. Developers won't have to code each bit of functionality of their application from scratch since they can easily import existing modules into their applications. This modular nature allows developers to port existing blockchain codebase already in Golang on top of it. For example, Ethermint is a project that allows developers to deploy proof-of-stake blockchains that are compatible and interoperable with Ethereum. Ethereumint works like Ethereum while also benefiting from all the properties of Tendermint BFT. On top of this, developers can create new modules for their applications. So as Cosmos grows, the ecosystem of SDK modules expands, making the development of blockchain applications easier in the long run. Enter Blockchain Communication Protocol, IBC, the connector. IBC is a protocol that allows heterogeneous chains to transfer value or data with each other. There are currently over 25 blockchains and counting built on the Cosmos SDK with IBC enabled. Cosmos Hub became the first blockchain in the Cosmos of the ecosystem when it launched three years ago. Atom is the native token that powers Cosmos Hub. It is used for transaction fees, staking, and governance. Atom currently sits at position 21 in terms of market cap and is trading just above 27 US dollars. Other interesting projects in the Cosmos ecosystem include Terra, a blockchain for algorithmic blockchains, and just recently, Terra enabled IBC, which means it can exchange its native token. Luna across other IBC-enabled blockchains. Crypto.com, a cryptocurrency exchange and wallet provider, also runs on the Cosmos network and is IBC-enabled. Cosmos leads the next generation of blockchains. And as Zhang Tendermint's CEO puts it, Ethereum has smart contracts. There's like tens of thousands of smart contracts, but in Cosmos, there can be tens of thousands of Ethereum and each of those have tens of thousands of contracts. What are your thoughts on the Cosmos ecosystem? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on all of our socials for future alpha. See ya!